on beat up cat family welcome back to the channel baby it's been a long break you know who we are but i'll present us ourselves nonetheless this is jc and you know who i am baby i'm the male so boys and girls it's been long a long vacation we didn't have a card for new year's eve we yeah. never get that but we do now we are back we are back in business baby yes Oh, it's stronger than ever. Stronger than ever, for sure. Li listen, the boogies are now gonna be very happy with us. Yeah, last year they got. They might be happy with the rest of you. Yeah, but not with us, because <laughs> we make money out of this. I mean, if you follow us, you make money too, baby. <laughs> right, right. Now we got a card on our hands here, and we are chasing week number one. You see, eight number eight. eight. Number eight. We shake, we left it a week number. We clapped on week seven with a RKO. By the way, not by Randy a Orton. Sweep. By the way, it was by the beat up cat. A sweep. a sweep to close the year. To close the year. Now you're gonna start the year with a sweep. With another sweep <laughs> and with a goddamn vengeance. Now let's get on with the card. First fight of the night, boys and girls. It's a women's flyweight bout between Cachoeira Dashita versus Eubanks. Listen, we're not picking any of these girls. But if I will pick somebody, I'll say Cachoeira. I don't think Eubanks is going to be standing there. The pressure that this lady puts, even though she does not have the greatest IQ uh, when, I, when it comes to fighting, Cachoeira does not have the greatest IQ. She is very durable. But that's it. But then when she starts poking the eyes and shit like that and grabbing the tongue, yes. I'll say Eubanks is going to quit on this one. Perhaps I'm wrong. But if you guys are going to bet, Cachoeira is your girl. We're going to move on to the next fight. It's going to be a flyweight bout between Johnson and Flick. Now, from close inspection, you might say, this looks like a close fight. They are actually dumping it on Johnson. Knowing that Flick has much better ground control. However, Johnson does have better striking than this fella. Yes, but I do feel like if Flick actually throws this guy to the ground. Maybe he can submit. Him. Maybe he can submit him and he's going to be over there. If he can keep him on the ground, Flick is going to get it. The, the problem is taking Johnson to the ground. Johnson is kind of explosive. And he has a good round. wrestling. And it has good takedown defense. Flick is, and this is not our pick, but I'm explaining to you fellas what this guy should do. I think he should trade blows and try to go for the legs. Take him down. And if he does take him down, make sure that he's on his back uh, and, on, and, and on a position that he's going to have, that Johnson has to, uh, is going to have to spend a lot of energy getting up. When he saps him of his energy, then it's a game changing from there. Now, no picks in here. We're gonna move on to the next one. And the first pick of, of the night for us, boys and girls. And it's gonna be a featherweight bout between Agreda versus Aguirre. Now, in this fight, JC did his due diligence to the letter. Mm -hmm. Found out that Aguirre is coming on a short week notice to fight this fella, Agreda. Only thing that worries me about this fight, we are betting on Aguirre, by the way. The only thing that worries me just a little bit is that Aguirre has won all of his fights by submission. But this is his first fight in the UFC. This guy is coming on a one-week notice, which tells me he is nervous about this fight. He knows he's going to be in the eyes of many. And he needs, he probably checking his boots. He, he knows he's got he's to gotta go for it. But I do believe, we do believe Aguirre is taking this one. So Aguirre is on our first pick. We're going to move on for the next fight. Of the night. Of the night is a flyweight bout between Nascimento versus Hernandez. Again, no pick over here. These two fellas from close inspection, to me, looks like a, a very even match. However, Nascimento looks like he's the veteran here. Like he has more fights, more experience. Hands, and we he's better in the ground. We we can say we can say he's better. Uh, the only problem I think is like if he can take to the ground Hernandez. 
because he's not so good with the hands. But if he go into the ground with Fernandez, he's Nascimento all day. That's pretty much what I was about to say. And uh, Nascimento has better takedown. Mm -hmm. And he trained also with... Uh, but the takedown yeah. average of these guys is the same. However, experience usually wins here. So, no pick. But if we were going to go with somebody, that will be Nascimento. Now, the second fight of the night is a lightweight bout, and this is our second pick. It's Rebecca versus Fiore. Fellas, do I need to tell you why we're picking Rebecca here? Yeah. It's going to be annihilation. This is going to be total killing. This fella takedown average is 10 yeah. takedowns per fight. 9.73. So I'm, I'm bringing you the next three decimals. Don't matter. You can take a little bit of those decimals too. Let's just say he's taking down people nine times out of, I don't know, uh, nine times for each fight. His takedown, uh, um, his takedown defense is 50%. Aich? He's going to the ground. He's going to take this fella to the ground and it's going to be a, a ground a, and pound. Right. Ground and pound and, and, <laughs> and probably the other guy's going to get some meter. This, I don't think this is going to go beyond the first round. Neither do I. This is going to be a quick one. But if it does, for sure, beyond the first round and a half, it's over. Now, the next fight of the night is going to be a middleweight between Ribeiro versus Rasak. What's his last name now? I can barely read that. Ah Hassan. Ah Hassan. Now, fellas. Well, it's not our pick, but I'll say... Fight doesn't go to the siege. One of those guys is going 9-9. Nine, nine. Either that or Rasak is definitely going to go for it. The only thing that I'm worried about is the chin of Rasan. He has been. It's yeah. the reach of the other fella. The other fella, if he plays his card right, he could keep Rasak from a distance. However, that's why we, 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 we will be choosing fight does not go to the session because somebody, somebody, somebody is going to is gonna go for at least a minute session with Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that's it. So, uh, we're going to move on to the next fight of the night. It's a bantamweight bout between Bacharat versus Mendonca. Mendoza. It says here Mendonca. Yeah, but the problem is, like, in Portuguese, that C has, like, apostrophe in top. Oh, okay. And it's pronounced right. like C. It's like a slash kind of yeah. thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mendoza. Now, I don't know much. I didn't do no due diligence on these two guys at all. In fact... I don't know if it, if this is the first time that I see. I think I've seen Bachelorette yeah, before. But Mendoza is but his first know. time in the UFC. He came from a I mean, who white contender. Who wouldn't know? Yeah. That blue hair gives it away. I, w I wouldn't know somebody with blue hair is fighting in the UFC, man. <laughs> Shit. Anyways, what do you think on this fight? Uh, I think that Bachelor is going to win it, but we have to take care about Mendoza. Mendoza has nine wins by KO in the first round. He goes like a bulldozer after you. And Bachara sometimes he keeps his hands low and maybe he can get caught. But Bachara is the better fighter between those. You between know? the two, right? Yeah, I think that the odds they're a little wide, you know. Mm. Minus three forty. So the best thing over here it will be Bachara by decision. Okay. If you get it, like it's minus one twenty, so you know, like he's not gonna KO Mendoza at least, like his most like common way to win, you know. For sure. Alrighty, boys and girls. So let's move on to the main card. The first fight of the main card itself is a bantamweight bout. The legend Norma Gomedov returns versus Barcelos. Now we're not talking about. We don't have to know Magomedov, but yeah. we are talking about this fella. This fella is crazy too. Do we need to tell you who's gonna win? Yes, sir. Listen, I would say fight doesn't go to the session, mm -hmm. so you don't lose. You don't lose them. You don't. You don't lose. Betting on no Magomedov, it's it's almost a sure thing. But there's never a sure thing in this in this kind of thing. When it comes to gambling, no. Does anything can happen, man? No, Magomeda can be beating this guy up. Be, uh, uh, he can get a little bit irresponsible, and then this fella is gonna clip him, and that's it. And 
you trying to get that 100 or 200 bucks cost you almost probably 2,000, 3,000 bucks. No, fight doesn't go to the session, that's it. Make it, uh, stay there safe, all right? So the next fight of the night, it's a women's bantamweight in our third, third pick of the night between Vieira versus Pennington. Now, and this one is very obvious we're picking Vieira. Be pretty much, Vieira has a better record than this other lady has better take than average and the lady that she has been fighting she just uh, falls with holly Holm, you know she's been fighting she's been fighting tougher competition than pennington yeah. any day now i'm always concerned about the ladies yes because the IQ. they got the iq but when they get hit it's like the iq goes out the window yes right sir. and they start throwing punches against somebody that are better than them throwing punches and if Vieira is able to keep herself composed and focused on what she has to do this one is easy money on the back but if she doesn't oof. but we are counting on her we've seen her before so she has she just she has shown toughness and some level of IQ so we don't need to say anymore let's move on to the next part of the night and it's going to be another pick. It made a way bout between Soriano versus Kopilov. Kopilov. So well, you want to talk about this one, JC? Yeah. I think that Kopilov can take it in two ways. We, by KO of with his wrestling. We have seen like Kopilov is struggling against wrestling guys. And Soriano has a good background in wrestling. And also he hit harder than Kopilov. The only thing that he has to be aware of is the kicks because Kopilov is a kickboxer and he showed in his last fight against uh, Di Chirico uh, he has good kick in the first round he KO Di Chirico with a head kick that's the only thing that he has to be concerned but I think that so Soriano can take this fight easy all right so we're picking Soriano in there boys and girls mm -hmm. so the next fight of the night is a, it's the last pick of the night and it's a featherweight bout between Dan Ivey versus Jackson listen I haven't liked much uh, we're picking Ivy by the way yeah but we haven't liked much the way Ivy has been has been that. fighting as of late however he yes yeah, competition he, he has lost three times in a row but, but to the best to the best but he has lost on the unanimous decision two were very clear the other two were uh, 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 uh. okay <laughs> But my point is, he hasn't gotten knocked out or submitted. So I don't think Jackson is ready for this fella, even though he's got a very impressive record. Yeah, but the, the, the level of competition, you cannot compare, you know, the guy. I know, but he's got more fight under his belt, and that, yeah, means, that's true. that means experience. However, I do believe that Aigi has to win this fight. This is a, a not if yeah. he loses, this is it. A cut. He has to win it. Yeah, he doesn't have a choice. He has to win it because then he's not gonna in the next. There's not gonna be a next one if he loses this one. Yeah, because not food on the fight. table. Mm -hmm. And he has a child. Might as well go to Eagle FC after this one. Yeah, because you gotta win it, my dude. <laughs> like you, you got, you gotta go there. Yeah, he know. No, he said it. He said in the press co in the press conference that he knows that he has to. And he's a damn of a. He's a. He's a hell of a good fighter. I don't yeah. know what's going on with him, but I think that maybe it was mentally that he thought that probably you know, he's going through some mental. When stuff. he he, he chose with the reality of how good those guys are in the in the no but maybe season. outside the ring too maybe outside the ring and that's that's maybe, or maybe, maybe he was issues. distracted with his a uh, child he just got a baby like she had like one year oh i get it uh, maybe that's goes. that's that's another point that's a but then again when you got a kid that's when you gotta get tougher but i get it i my kid at some point was a uh, newborn and they were nice and i would sleep one hour and the mommy will her mommy will sleep one hour too it was crazy and then go go to work for like 10 hours it was exha exhausting in fact it was so exhausting that one day it had slipped my mind and i put my finger in a saw this finger got caught by uh it used to be a carpenter carpenter got 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 clipped in half by a saw 
and I didn't feel a thing. I just put my hand in something, grabbed it, and I pulled it out. When I looked at my finger, it was bananas. <laughs> yeah, bananas. Yeah. Anyways, boys and girls, uh, let's revisit the whole card again. And no, uh, you wait and talk about the main. Oh game, shit! Man. We're talking about. Oh, we almost forgot about Strick. I almost forgot about Strickland, bro. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go with the main event. Yes. You guys know we don't bet on the main events, you boys and girls know. As uh, it's gonna be between Strickland versus Imavov. Now I do believe Strickland should take this one, but it's gonna be a close fight. Yes. Let's and look. also Strickland is coming in short notice, like one week notice. That's the reason that this fight is gonna be in two or five. The only that I'm concerned about Imabov that I don't like is like he has showed that his card is not the best and how it's gonna look in the fourth and in the fifth round. And we learned this lesson last year, what happened with us with Serukia against Ganro. That the first three rounds he was in top, the fourth and the fifth he got annihilated. And maybe that this can happen again, you know, like he wins the first two rounds and then after the third. You know, we start fainting and that, and we know that Strickland can go 25 minutes and he go pressure, 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 and bang. The only thing that we have to see is what is the condition of a Strickland right now because he's coming only one week notice, you know? I agree. Yeah. So. The best way is not betting this fight. Yeah. Just know? watch there it, is, fellas. There is too much red flag. Mm. In both in both sides, you know, and this is the first card of the year. We have a lot of UFC coming on, and the picks that we got, we are really, really, a uh, a uh, truer on those. Listen, fellas, we are uh, we've been teaching you boys and girls, and we we're gonna you're gonna keep saying this always until the end of time. Do not go for the main event if you have already clapped the other pegs. If you have gotten the other pegs and you have made significant profit, there's no reason for you to go to the main event. Yeah. Bye don't, bye. Don't get clumsy. Don't get uh don't get it, don't be responsible. Because and we said it on the experience. That that happened to us in the past. Well there's been times when we've been winning like three, four thousand bucks in one night. Well for some of you that might be that might be nothing. But let's just Go put it up to where you some some of you boys actually bet big money. Mm -hmm. Let's just say you are thirty thousand dollars up. You decide to dump down thirty thousand up on the main event. You lost it. You can get it back. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Be smart and 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 you know come. Just cut it there. Watch the main the event with a smile on your face and, and thanking the beat up cat by the way. That's and a it. beer. And a beer. That's it. And after that, you can bang. Yeah. No? You know how how much you have to work to win 30K? Um, no, but so some of these fellas, they probably made 30K on the flight. But it, I'm pretty sure it hurts them to lose 30K. Yeah, of course. It hurts them because they, there's just no way to get it back later. Yeah. And it's it's the same for the guys that, are, that know they are very happy because they, are, they have won 1,000 bucks, 2,000 bucks. Because they know it takes them like two weeks to earn that. Pull out! Yeah. You already made your check. It's like when you boys and girls out with a check, man. You're you're having fun hitting it. Why do you not pull out? Then you are complaining about the about the kid and child support and all that bullshit. You should have pulled out, motherfucker. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's revisit the whole damn picks. So we got Agueda. Yes, Rebecca, Vieira, Soriano, mm -hmm. Dan Aigi. Yeah, fine. That's it for that, boys and girls. Yeah. All right? So, you got anything to say? Let's bang, baby. It's money time. See you in the next motherfucker. See you in the next one, boys and girls. Bye-bye. <laughs>